factors set aside for the youth and women and people living with disability in the counties, Madam Speaker. Those tenders have been taken away by the same same people who are taking up uh, big tenders in the counties, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I was disturbed with a case in my county whereby there was a tender which was floated for bush clearing. Each tender was costing 4 million shillings. They had tendered for 12 uh, 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 tenders for bush clearing, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, bush clearing only requires labor and a few equipment like pangas and jembes, Madam Speaker. Such tenders should be given to the young people of this republic. Such tenders should be given to the women of this country so that we can stimulate their capacity to even do bigger tenders. Unfortunately, in Kakamega County, those tenders were given to companies which have been doing tenders worth 100 million, Mr. Sp uh, Madam Speaker. This is sad. I want to call upon governors of this republic. Devolution was meant to benefit the local Mwanainchi on the ground. Devolution was meant to benefit and increase capacities in our counties, Madam Speaker. It is sad that such contracts, which only requires labor, are being given to people who already have capacity. It is incumbent upon this House, Madam Speaker, to ensure that we oversee the, 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 the issuance of tenders in our counties. We need to ensure that the youth who have no capacity, who have no capital to do big roads, to do tarmac roads, to supply tenders worth hundreds of millions, are given opportunity, Madam Speaker, to, uh, to take up uh, uh, tenders which do not require a lot of mechanization. Lastly, Madam Speaker, I have said on the floor of this House that this being the last financial year, we need to guide our respective county assemblies to ensure that they put money in projects that they had started initially, Madam Speaker. We have seen county governments starting projects and abandoning the projects in the middle, Madam Speaker. We need to ensure that in this financial year, we ensure that we allocate money that is going to ensure that those projects are complete, Madam Speaker. It is sad, and I've said on the floor of this House, since 2013, Madam Speaker, in Kakamega County, we do not have a single flagship project that has been completed. When you look at the Buhungu Stadium, it's not completed, Madam Speaker. When you look at the Shamahuhu um, uh, Level 4 Hospital in Shinyalu, it is not completed. The tea factory in Shinyalu constituency, Madam Speaker, nothing is happening. The milk processing farm in Malava constituency has told, Madam Speaker. The Mumias Level 4 Hospital, nothing is going on. The water project in Huisero and Butere, nothing is going on. The maize uh, uh, plant that was meant to benefit the people of Lugari and Lukuyani has stalled, Madam Speaker. We are only remaining with one year to the end of Governor Oparanya's tenure in Kakamega. I want to ask Governor Oparanya, as you do your last financial budget, make sure that those projects are complete. The people of Kakamega will ask you questions at the end of your tenure. We want, Madam Speaker, that all governors, uh, including the Kisi governor who has been petitioned in this uh, petition, Madam Speaker, to be accountable, Madam Speaker. That is my submission, and I will continue pressing for things that affect my people, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator.